YouTubers and welcome back to my channel. Today is 5th of September 2021, Sunday. And as always, I got a new video for you. So, what are these? They are super capacitors. 1 farad, 5.5 volts. And I got them 40 pieces for around $40. I got them I got from eBay. Super capacitor. 5.5 volts. And I love these things, they act like a battery, but they can last for many years, 10 plus years. And in today's video I will show you a couple of experiments, easy experiments and circuits that you can build it and that you can use this kind of electronic components. I love them, that's why I order oh, 40 of them. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is to charge the capacitor with voltage and with exact voltage of 5.5 volts. Negative to negative terminal. I'm charging with my digital power supply. Okay, and it's set it to 5.6 volts. Okay, and right now it's charging and it's pulling around 150 milliampers. I'm gonna leave it. Nope. 90 milliampers. Okay. It's not fully charged, but I'm gonna measure how much is the voltage with my digital multimeter. You can see here. Okay. And we have 3.5 volts. It's not fully charged, but enough for the first easy circuit to light a LED with a super capacitor. Here I have uh, a small breadboard and I'm using a red LED and resistor and I'm gonna attach the super capacitor with 3.5 volts and not fully charged here and the LED light up and we have made a small circuit with battery in this case super capacitor one resistor for limiting the current for the LED to kill the light. Okay. And the LED right now is spending about 2 to 3 milliampers and will last for about 45 to 1 hour with this super capacitor. And here it is the formula for calculating uh, or converting farads into milliampers. That is a great information how to convert farads into milliampers because this is a super capacitor. And for example, this capacitor of 2.7 volts and 100 farads, when you do the math with the formula that I show you, you will get it that this super capacitor have 75 milliampers at 2.7 volts. That means that this small guy with 1 farad and 5.5 volts, it have 1.5 milliampers of capacity. 
Okay, let me show you the next easy circuit. Okay, here I have three colors of self-blinking LEDs, five millimeters that I purchased. I don't know, a couple of months ago. Let's try it. Green. Okay. Okay, right now there is a red LED ordinary and I'm replacing with self-blinking. Come on, yep. Look at that. The super capacitor acting like a battery through the resistor. It's blinking the LED and this LEDs are awesome. Oh. Here we have a different setup. And from the negative pole of the supercapacitor, we are going on the piezo buzzer. This is a passive. From here goes to the cell blinking LED and ends on the positive terminal of the supercapacitor. Take a look what happens. We, we have generated a clicking sound tick tac tick tac tick tac tick tac with the LED. You can hear it. Take a look at this simple circuit, but, but in epoxy resin. You can see that this is a supercapacitor, the red is the LED, and the solar panel. Very simple circuit, just like this one with the blinking LED. This one have also blinking LED, but it's not blinking because the supercapacitor is discharged. And take a look how easy it is to charge this device. Just to kill the lights. Okay. I'm gonna took a flashlight and point at the solar panel, very close. Just after 20 seconds the LED is start blinking and the supercapacitor start charging and enough power to blink a LED. That means that I can transfer the energy through light. Turn off and look, it's blinking. And I charge it with the light. Okay, that was all for today's video, Hacktubers. Thank you for watching. For all new Hacktubers, please subscribe. Thanks again for watching. See ya.